Welcome to Getting Started, Connectivity in 5 Minutes or Less. For this video, you will need a few things. ThingWorks Kepler Server or Kepserver EX installed, your PLC project file or CSV file of tags, and finally, the addresses of your field devices that you are attempting to connect to. Let's get started. No matter what device you're connecting to, you will use the same three steps. Create a channel, create a device, and finally, add tags. First, we will click here to add a channel and then select our driver. This tells Kepler how we will be connecting to our device. For this first example, we will be connecting to a Modbus device using TCP IP. Once that is selected, we will click Next until the window closes. Note. Kepler gives users the ability to configure many different driver parameters. For most applications, the default settings are sufficient. If you need specific performance parameters, please contact us to set up a working session with our application engineering team. The next step will be adding a device to the channel. These settings will tell the driver specifics about the device such as the IP address or the model of the device. The final step is to add tags to our device. There are a few ways we can accomplish this. The first is to manually add a tag by giving it a name within Kepware and then associating it with the tag address of the device. In this instance, we will associate tag1 to the 40001 address in our device. This address will change depending on the driver you are using. We can also duplicate tags which will increase the name and address by a factor of 1. Another route is to import a CSV file containing the tag database of the device. This database can often be exported through the PLC programming software used to configure the PLC. Another method is using the automatic tag generation service. This service will automatically import tags from the device or from the device project file. In this example, we will connect to a Rockwell Control Logics PLC and import all the tags found within the PLC's memory. If we look at the event log, we can see 90,000 tags successfully imported. If you notice, we can see details about the tags in the details window, but we can't actually see the tag values. This is because we do not yet have a client connected to Kepware. To quickly confirm that our driver configuration is valid, we will open up Quick Client. This tool establishes an OPC DA connection to Kepware. Now we are able to see the values from our device. 